guys, welcome back. So, I made my last video and I said that it has not stopped raining for two weeks straight. And today, finally, it stopped raining and it was actually sunny. It actually felt like spring today. So, I figured, what better time to do a spring tutorial, finally, before, you know, the rain stops and it's summer. So today, I did this look using the Sweet Peach Palette. This is how it turned out. And I hope you like it. So if you want to see how to get this spring look, just keep watching. Okay, so I already prepped my face. And I first put on this Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. And after that, I used the Mario Badescu Aloe Moisturizer. So I'm going to be going in with my foundation. And today I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I have the shade 04 Medium Beige in 07 Sand. This is a little too dark. This is a little too light. So I'm going to mix them together and use them both. Like, it really doesn't look that orange in the mirror, so I don't understand why it looks this orange on camera. But. For concealer, I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. will help even out that orange in the foundation as well. over this with my foundation brush to even out the color a little bit. Like that. And I'm just going to set a little bit of the under eye with my Laura Mercier powder like this. For my bronzer, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Bron uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder, the shade Bronze 04, on my Morphe M527 brush. For blush, I'm going to take MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade... Whoa. Oh god. Anyway, 
Warm Soul. A blush brush. And then, for my highlights, I wanted to do more of a softer highlight, so I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. Honestly, on the same brush that I set my face with. I'm just going to keep it in the upper area. Now on to the eyes, I am going to be taking the Too Faced Sweet Pea Palette and using only this for my eyes. Taking a crease brush, I'm going to go in with Puree, this shade right here, and put that all over my crease. These are so pigmented, it's crazy, and the smell, oh my god, they literally smell so good. In a more defined crease brush now, I'm going to take the color right next to it, which is Summer Yum. And put that more focus in the crease only. The shade Cobbler on a Morphe B81. The color I use, the brush I used for puree looked like this. It's a little bit fluffier than the brush I used to focus on my crease with Summer Yum. Looks like this. It's a little bit denser than the original one. And then this one has a little bit more of a tapered point to go in with Cobbler. And again, in a crease. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the shade Luscious right here. I'm going to put that on a Morphe M433 brush all over my lid. And again, going back in with mm, Summer Yum. I'm just going to go back in the crease right there. And 
And again with the cobbler shade. Like that. And then over top of Luscious, I'm going to take a little bit of Bellini and focus that right on the middle. Now for underneath the eye, I'm taking my the denser crease brush that I use. This is actually by Luxie and it's the 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to take that with puree and just buff out the lower lash line. And then taking my Morphe E18 brush, I'm going to go into Summer Yum and go closer to my waterline. like that. Take a eyeliner and just go on the very lightly on the outside corner of my eye. But moving on to my eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown. <sighs> Mascara. Taking my Tarte Tarteiste Mascara. Okay. For lips, I'm going to be taking Bite Beauty Amuse Pouge lipstick in the shade Sugar Cane. Gonna just take a little bit of the Kylie gloss in the shade. So cute. That is all for this look. Actually, no, I'm not done. I'm going to take the Kopari spray again and just...